Up first this evening, the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, has signaled that it could expand the list of plastic items banned in Jamaica. The agency says it will do an assessment of the ban in 2020 and use that information to determine if additional single-use items should be added to the list. But just what items should be considered? TVJ's Dashan Hendricks has been exploring the possibilities. Scandal bags and plastic straws have been banned already. Styrofoam food containers are next on the list and should not be available to the public as of Wednesday. So far in an assessment, the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, says... The ban over this past year has been very successful. A quantitative analysis is now being done to ascertain the full impact of the plastic ban on the environment. The result of that analysis is to be available in mid-January. After that, NEPA says it will do a full review of the plastic ban in mid-2020 and that information will be used to determine if additional plastic items are to be banned. So did the regulations specified the single-use plastic, single-use plastic. So there are single-use plastic bags, the polystyrene, meaning the styrofoam, and the straws. Okay? So those are three of them. So we might be looking at other single-use items. Plastic right? cups. Plastic cups, plastic forks, very likely. He stressed that no decision has been made on that matter as yet, but there are additional items to be banned for which a decision has already been made. Now, come the 1st of January 2021, the thicker plastic bags will be banned. So those over 0.02 mils will be, will, you know, be banned. Those are usually the branded, yeah, the branded bags are the thicker bags. They cost, some, they cost some more than the typical scandal bag. But that's not the only thing to be banned in 2021. I think the following year comes the straws which are attached to juice boxes and drink pouches. Because you'd have remembered that in 2019, January 1st, we cut the existing production of, of plastic straws. So that's the next, the next phase. But as the assessment of the plastic ban continues, there are still concerns even with the success. There are still, we still have issues. There are some areas, and we've, in fact, had to prosecute over 35 facilities for being involved in the distribution of scandal bags. We don't want to do that, but yes, we still have that issue. So while we are saying that, yes, we have seen significant successes, we still have a small segment of our population who are still involved in um, this. And while Matthew Samuda, the government senator who led the process to ban single-use plastic items, acknowledges the gaps, he's optimistic that with time, full compliance will be attained. I don't expect within the next year or so to see any plastic bags around the place. I hardly see them now. There are one or two places where you'll buck it up and then when it's reported to Nepal, they act. So over time, I think you'll see it, you'll see it um, feed out. It's heartened though that the ban has reduced the amount of plastic bags seen in the gullies and on the coastline. The next major focus is, I think, as it relates to your waste stream, is how you handle plastic bottles and how you handle old tires. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News. Meanwhile, the debate on the impending styrofoam ban continues with the business sector having different views on whether the ban should have been delayed. While, while one called on the government to reconsider its stance against delaying the ban on styrofoam, another says a delay would not make a difference. Styrofoam manufacturers and retailers have been sounding off in the weeks leading up to Wednesday's ban on the single-use container. President of the Small Business Association of Jamaica, SBAJ, Hugh Johnson, says up to Monday morning, he was still receiving calls from members of the association pleading for an extension. Earlier this year, he told TVJ News that a lack of suitable alternatives was the main issue. He says considering the expected impact, the SBAJ is still hoping the government will reconsider the decision not to grant an extension. When the plastic bag ban was implemented, the government even though they had gone ahead with that deadline, but they had given some reprieve and to allow for a seamless transition. We're hoping for that to happen here, that um, 
some consideration will be given in that regard to allow people to operate until that transition can be done smoothly. But why is there a call for an extension after one year's notice of the ban? President of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, Richard Pandui, explains that the period is not as long as persons may think. The reality is that a year is, might seem long, but it's not really long when it comes to find alternatives, putting, you know, getting, finding the right technology source and putting it in, doing the market research. A year goes very, very quickly. However, while agreeing that the transition will be a challenge, he is not convinced an extension of the timeline for the implementation would have made a difference. That's because, like chairman of Styrofoam Manufacturers with Sinko Group, William Mafood, Mr. Pandui believes manufacturing alternatives locally is not a viable venture. That's why he says he doesn't believe manufacturers and retailers would have been any readier even with an extension. Nonetheless, he thinks it's a necessary difficulty that the business sector will have to deal with. At the end of the day, though, we as a Jamaican will support the move to better protect our environment. I mean, the cost to the, our environment, we know that number of the stuff that we've been doing is not good. So, I mean, we support the move by the government to put measures in place to protect our environment.